What's up, guys? Today we're taking a look at the Hot Toys Star Wars Rogue One. Cheer it, Imwe, Imwe, or Imve? It'd be Imve if he was German, but he's not German. Uh, cheer it. We'll just call him Cheer it then. Uh, here's take a look at the box. I have the they have the uh, the deluxe version actually. It's a fancier version. Here's the front of the box. Side nothing. Here's all the credits and the little Disney sticker there. Nothing here. And then I'm not sure. I think this might have a slip case here. Let's take it out. Oh, ooh, look at that box. Nice. <clears throat> oh wow, I've never seen a box like this before. That's nice. It's got a picture of Donnie Yen there. It's got some like Chinese designs, it looks like. Yeah, so it looks like it has some Chinese lettering. I believe that's Chinese. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know what that is if you know what it is. Um, so, there's a side. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. So then it has the credits on the back of this again. So let's take this out. Open it up. Look at that. You know, take a look at that. And uh, read it, because I'm not going to read it to you. Because I'm terrible at reading aloud. Leave that there for a sec. You can pause it if you want. A nice design in the box, man. Really cool. I'm going to take this down. And there's a uh, good old cheer it. All right, guys, we're going to take all this good stuff out of the box, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, here's a look at all the cool accessories you get with cheer it and the box. Uh, Again, this is the deluxe version, so you, this is the extra in the deluxe version, this extra little scarf base here. Uh, and then the Stormtrooper helmet too. So we're going to start with the base because that's kind of like the selling point of this set. So we'll get a good look at that. Let me get a little focus on there. So yeah, it's supposed to look like the, the uh, tropical planet of Scarif. And it's, the water's got a nice little, it's got like a plastic thing. You can't really see, maybe you can kind of see in the light here, get a little reflection, but it's got a little plastic piece here to kind of mimic water. So that's nice. Um, it's a nice base. I think it's cool. Like, I actually think it's actually, I think it's worth, I think between this and the Stormtrooper helmet, which you're going to see in a sec, I think it's actually worth, I think it's like an extra 20 bucks, I think. Uh, for it. I actually think it's worth it because I think it's a nice unique base and it's pretty cool actually so yeah there's that and then here's the stormtrooper helmet that comes with it it's got a nice and dirty you know it's got uh, nice and dirty there you can see all the little dirt marks on there you know it's just a standard stormtrooper helmet but you know it's got the sand on it you know so you can have it kind of like land to the side you know, like he, you know, beat it off a stormtrooper or something like that, which is cool. Like he did some damage to the stormtrooper. And to my knowledge, you can't, you can't put it on because it's got this in here. But there are screws in there, so you could, you know, potentially take it off and maybe pop it on somebody's head if you wanted to goof around like that and uh, do something like that. I don't know why you would, but, you know, another thing to note, too, is this is so accurate. You can see the green lenses in there. The green lenses in the Stormtrooper helmet. Now, if you Google anything about Stormtrooper helmets and uh, the green lenses, uh, it's a really interesting story about that. Well, if you're into, like, props and movie stuff like that, movie stuff, well, I am, but, you know, if you're into movie stuff, check it out. Um, and then this is just the, the thing that goes in right here. Let's put it in for shits and giggles here. Let's stick it in there. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm going to end up cutting this out. I already know that. Oh, there we go. So there it is in there. There's your, uh, hold on, there you go. There's your uh, thingy in the base there to hold them up. <clears throat> and now you get, uh, this is his staff, Chirrut's staff here. Take a good look at that. Really nice detail. Now I read in, uh, I either saw it in the video or I read it in one of the Rogue One books that I got. Um, there's actually a kyber crystal in here, which is interesting. So when you see him, like, you know, kind of jab at the stormtroopers and you see kind of a glow, 
there's a kyber crystal in here so it's very interesting but man this is amazing detail on here though really great you know it's kind of glossy like an old like a staff would be like a, like a walking stick almost like you would see like a like you know kind of like if you've ever been like in a, in a country store on the side of a road in rural america somewhere if you're an american you'll find these walking sticks or a cracker barrel i think i've seen them in there too uh you'll see like this they're kind of like they're nice and glossy and it looks like that it's very cool definitely nailed it and then here's his like his amazing huge gun just cool man let's get a good look at this look at that let's move this aside just look at this great detail great paint app again Hot Toys always is really good on the paint apps there's like a gear here and like an opening for where like a round might be but I don't know why I don't think they use round like you know like brass <laughs> if you're a gun enthusiast uh, in the Star Wars universe really cool this might be a targeting thing I don't know I gotta read up on this on this weapon I have the book I should really check it out <clears throat> but there's a, there's a really nice design here hopefully you can see that right there same here it looks like the same design looks just in black over here really awesome so then like it's huge too it's like really wide it's like about the like almost the whole width of my hand here so really good detail here man look at that and again like there's all the detail here and like look at that look at that it's like kind of like a gearish a gear kind of thing right here oh it's awesome but again like I want to say this feels pretty sturdy like I wouldn't obviously don't yank on it like some kind of you know like some kind of ape or something like that but it stops here it feels nice and sturdy it doesn't feel too flimsy which is nice you know if you're paying this kind of money for a figure you know it should be nice and sturdy so that's really great and then uh, of course you get uh, your assortment of hands here uh, you get these two here Let's focus on it here kind of grabby hands this would be like holding the stick hands I think holding the staff and then I'm pretty sure this is for holding the the blaster here whoops this is for holding the bottom part there. You know, I'll put it. I'll put it in his hand later so you can see it. Trigger finger. <clears throat> and a couple of like holding his fingers out, almost like he's using the force, or if he's going to be doing some kung fu, or if he wanted to put him in that stance that he was in when he met. If you've seen the movie when he meets up with the stormtroopers there and he's getting in his ready stance. And then this looks like a kind of like a relaxed sort of, just a relaxed hand. Kung Fu hand, maybe. All right, guys. Uh, that's this is all the accessories you get, and uh, I want to pull the figure out and get you, let you guys uh, take a look at the figure, like right when you pull them out of the box. I will be right back. All right, guys. Here's a look at the figure as he comes like, right out of the packaging with no other accessories on or no anything like that. And uh, let's get this base started for you so you can see him around. I'm really loving this figure, man. The detail is really great. Uh, you can take a look at the. Back of the figure here in a second. Uh, the the tailoring on his outfit, really great, man. Just like really great attention to detail and like, you know, another thing like the head sculpt is great. Like a really great likeness of Donnie Yen, and you know, I think you know most importantly, like the articulation is really great in this figure. You know, a lot of times with Hot Toys they get a little iffy with the articulation depending on like, you know, if you take a case of the armored Batman like. That figure was garbage for articulation. Not much you could do with it. Um, in this case, you know, in the case of uh, good old Chirrut here, he he's great. Like you can't ask for more. And you know, along the lines of detail and uh, articulation and head, head sculpt like this and all that good stuff. Uh, so let's take him down and get a better look at him really quick here. All right. So you can see, like right off the bat, like right when I get it up to him, and they. Uh, as far as the, uh, and you can see like the detail in his outfit, man, just great. Just the dirt, you know, like I, I'm always, you know, like it's kind of like my short trooper review, you know, like praising the dirt and the grime of these figures, man. 
But look at that likeness of Donnie Yen. God, look at that. Let's just like him, in my opinion, man. Really great. Look at the tailoring in that suit too. Just like look at the dirt and the grime in the little in the little uh, uh, sash here, belt or whatever you call it. Look at the unique tailoring too in the outfit. Just an amazing attention to detail, man. And all this other stuff, like the plastic parts here. We'll take a look at the back in a second. Does that thing? I don't even know what that is, but it looks great. <laughs> Did he ever even use that in the movie? I'm gonna have to pay attention now while I watch it. Just great, man. I mean, what more could you ask for? Take a look at his pants here. This, you know, it's the baggy martial arts man pants that you always see him wearing in his martial arts movies. Great, great tailoring. I mean, just look at the stitching. You know, especially on this part of the figure up here. Just great stitching, man. Good lord, look at that. And there's this thing. What is that? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> a lot of it, I don't know what it is, but it looks really cool. I'm not even sure if you ever used it. It almost looks like a hand cannon or something. Not a cannon, but you know what I mean. Like a gun, like a handgun. Arm gun. Then he's got this little cape here. Not a little cape, but he's got this... uh what appears to be a cape. And you can see it like goes around there. Look at it's like all the all these little pieces here. Just there's like a lot of layering to this outfit, man. It looks so good. Man. And look at the stitching back here. There's a lot of detail on his coat here. Just a lot of attention to detail. You know, and for you know, like when I first saw this figure, I didn't find it to be like extremely impressive. But now, now that I have it in hand, like I'm really impressed by it. You know, especially as far as like the stitching and stuff goes. I, mean, I just, it's just really impressive. Like I'm really impressed with the level of detail on this coat. Actually, I'm really impressed with the whole suit. You know, just overall, like, I think it's look really great. Look really great. And take a look at those boots here. Really good. So for the head articulation, is really good. Like, you can look down, look up, side, side, side. Um, as far as the arms go. Ew. It's about as far as side you're going. Straight. Up, and he's got a bicep swivel, and I think, nope, he's got a forearm or a wrist swivel. I thought he had a forearm swivel, but I was wrong. My bad. Uh, same with over here in this arm. Uh, ab crunch is really good, actually. Ab crunch is great. A lot of good articulation in the abs here. So you can have him like dodging a dodging a blaster bolt or something, like Matrix style or stuff like that. Uh, kicking up is good. Really good leg articulation. Look at that. Really great leg articulation. You can really do some great poses with this thing. You know, as you would expect, because he was like a you know, Donnie Yen's a really great martial artist, so you would expect you'd be able to. Front. Pull this up so you can see that and then really great oh angle pivots Ew, a little iffy with these uh, it's decent though it's good you know it's about as much as you would need I'm assuming you know if you want to have them in crazy poses so you might want to have them on a on a base you know really great articulation for this figure um all right I'm gonna get him in a really awesome pose and then come back and give you my final verdict on this guy all right, guys, here he is all posed up, and I got to say, guys, I love this figure. I love it more than I thought I would. I'm actually very pleasantly surprised. I've been very disappointed with Hot Toys lately, as you've kind of seen with my last couple of reviews. You know, you know like, I, I just think, like, they're kind of knocking it out of the park with uh, some of these Rogue One figures. I know I was 
pretty uh, disappointed with the articulation and you know some of the uh, accessories in the short trooper. But overall, it was a decent figure. You know, I think if you're really into Rogue One, it was good. This, however, this is a great figure. I mean, this is a great, great figure. You can see like a lot of posing options, a lot of posability, a lot of great things you can stage with some stormtroopers and stuff. Like I go, I'm just gonna go ahead and you can tell I'm gushing. I'm gonna go ahead and give it two thumbs up right now. Two hearty thumbs up. If you can grab this guy, get him our pre-order, either SciShow or Big Bad Toy Store, wherever you get your figures or eBay or whatever you do, I would say uh, definitely grab him up, man. He's a great figure and well worth the money. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, go ahead and give me a like if you like this video and subscribe down below if you want some more reviews. Um, I do a lot of hot toys, uh, statues, six-inch figures, kind of run the gamut. Um, all right. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.